In this video, we will find the derivative of x is equal to sin of x y, which is an implicit function. So first, we will differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we have d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of sin of x y. Now we know that the derivative of x to the power n is equal to n times x to the power n minus one. So the derivative of x is equal to 1 times x to the power 1 minus 1 which is 1 times x to the power 0 and x to the power 0 is 1 so 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 so we can write 1 over here and the derivative of sine of x is so sine of x we cannot apply this formula over here because this variable and this variable must be same. So, first we will write it as it is and then let u is equal to x1. So, we have d by dx of sine of u. But again, we don't have the same variable and we must have du in place of this dx. So, we will apply chain rule and multiply it by du by dx so we can cancel du and du and we will get d by dx again and but we can apply this formula because this variable and this variable is same so the derivative of sine of u is cosine of u and we will put the value of u which is xy so we have we will again put the value of u which is xy over here and here we will apply the product rule of differentiation which is derivative of u b is equal to u times derivative of b plus b times derivative of u so first we will write x times derivative of y plus y times derivative of x so we have x times dy by dx and the derivative of x is 1 so 1 times y is y and then we will open this bracket so we have 1 upon x times cosine of xy dy by dx plus y times cosine of xy and now we take this term on the other side so we have 1 minus y times cosine of xy is equal to x times cosine of xy dy by dx and this thing can be written as x times cosine of xy dy by dx is equal to 1 minus y times cosine of xy and the derivative dy by dx is equal to 1 minus y times cosine of xy upon x times cosine of xy and this is the required answer.